hello all a lot of you guys have been loving my canva tutorials from the canva intros to the canva streaming overlays i think i made one for custom uvdtf wraps using canva if you want to make your own tumblr wraps within canva and then print out your wraps to put on your cups i have one of those so i'll have them all linked down below there's also a playlist filled with all the tutorials that i made for your small business as well as content mostly everything that i recommend is affordable especially as a small business startup i have made another tutorial for how you can make your very own youtube intro without canva pro so it is 100 percent free all you need is a Canva account. Let's get into the tutorial. After you've downloaded Canva and made your account, as you can see, mine is the free version, but on the main screen, there's all of these options for what kind of project you wanna create. We are going to click video. From here, Canva gives you all different kinds of options and they're all sized and ready to go depending on what kind of video you're trying to make. Once you make your choice, this blank canvas should pop up. And the very first step we're gonna do is choose our background. I searched up pink paper because we are doing a scrapbook theme. Again, if you do not have Canva Pro, please don't worry. This entire tutorial is specifically for those who just have the free account and all of the elements that you see in today's video, you can use. Once you've picked your photo, what you want to do is right click on the picture that you chose. It opens up this tab and at the bottom it says set image as background. That should fill up the entire screen. You can also adjust the colors of the image by clicking this little rainbow at the top tab or edit. Here you can edit the colors, you can edit the saturation, make a more cool tone or warm tone. Just play around with it until you get a feel for how it works. Step number two is to add your ripped paper. I think this gives it kind of like a scrapbook feel to it. In my opinion, it makes it look like there's actually layers of paper. I also like to add shadows to my elements because it looks more three-dimensional that way. You just click edit, click on shadows, and there's different kinds for you to choose from. I chose the drop option. Just from these two pieces of ripped paper, you can kind of see what I was talking about, about the three-dimensional look. It's not as flat anymore. Now for the fun part, search up some stickers that you want to add to your little scrapbook intro. If it's a day in the life, you can add little outfits, little butterflies. If you're making a video about cooking, maybe add some cooking stickers so that it matches your aesthetic. And honestly, don't be afraid to put the stickers everywhere. It is a scrapbook. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about having fun and creating collages of things. Next up is to add your channel's name so i searched up scrapbook letters i found one of the scrapbook letters that i liked and one of the hacks that i use is you can just right click on one of the letters from the pop-up tab you can click on the actual designer and search up the letters there so that it's kind of cohesive please also try to remember that you can edit colors of certain graphics so if you like the way a graphic looks but it's not the color you want you can click on the little edit tool that i showed you earlier and play around with that until it becomes either purple pink blue Blue, yellow whatever color you're looking for move all of your letters and elements around and once you're happy with it select all your letters group them together and click the animate button at the top there's a bunch of different animation styles you can choose from and there's one that specifically says scrapbook that is what i'm using today because it suits it not only did i apply it to my name i applied it to the stickers as well so that the entire thing is like a scrapbook and that is it this is the final result if you're watching this and you're like oh my gosh i don't have the time to do that don't worry because i actually have some canva templates templates that are ready to go. I have some for all different kinds of niches. All you have to do is grab the one that you like the best, edit your name, and you're done. My shop will be linked down below as well as a special coupon code. Don't forget to save this video for later so that you can come back to it and create many more intros or edits that you'd like with Canva. Subscribe to see more tutorials, tips, as well as some behind the scenes. I'll see you in my next video.